All right, hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So this week I'm going to show you why the buffer size is important to tracking. Okay, this is one of the only last new videos where you will see actually the My Voice track, because this is actually the reason why I stopped using the My Voice track and just routing it straight to the, to the video using the profiles. I usually route my mic from, from here, so it will most likely now sound kind of funny to you, like I'm in a barrel or something. So an important reason why you are actually uh, making it really hard to sing, for example, if you have a massive latency in your sound. So for example now, I am currently having a buffer sizes 128, so my input and output latency is total of about 10 milliseconds. So everything is now routed to my headphones, which are overriding my voice. So I can actually hear the sound louder in my headphones than I can hear it uh, inside my head. Because you know, when you just take off your headphones and then you plug yours, you can still hear the sound inside your head. Okay, so what I'm going to test is I have a text in front of me and I'm going to try to read it and I'm going to insert a delay. So this is now 0 0.1 millisecond of delay, so it's basically the same as not having delay at all. So what I'm going to do is I try to read the paragraph. This is actually harder if you actually have to think about what you have to say, so I actually won't be reading that. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to at just a tiny bit of delay. So 10 milliseconds, I can still hear everything in my head normally, but it sounds like I'm, you know, like I have a, a flanger in my head. So now I'm going to increase the delay to 20 milliseconds. Now it sounds like I have a really big flanger in my head. So let's increase it to 50 milliseconds and it actually becomes really hard to talk. So if I'm at 666, 60 milliseconds it sounds most likely to you like I'm drunk because let me turn on the because, because this, this is, is how, how it sounds, sounds inside, inside my, my head, head and, and it's, it's really, really annoying. annoying and if I increase this to 100 milliseconds I just can't talk anymore like this try it yourself because this is really hard and now I turn it off and it's really easy to talk now. So what's the point of this? So when we got to the 50 millisecond territory, it was really hard to speak. So what about if I change the uh, buffer settings to one? Uh, this is now 50 milliseconds and it's kind of hard to talk, but it's not that bad. And this is just one hundred milliseconds. I can't even talk anymore. It's really fucked up. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And thank you for watching. Try this thing yourself and click that like button. All right. Thank you for watching and make good music. Bye.